Yeah, so Ilica didn't invent solid state batteries, but our solid state batteries are differentiated from others that are out in the market in three clear ways. The first one is that they've got about a 40% increase in energy capacity per footprint relative to other ones that have been commercialized. The second one is that they have a wider temperature operating range, so they can handle temperatures from minus 20 up to 100 degrees C, which is about 30 degrees C um, higher than other products on the market. And the third thing is actually that they have no free lithium, so they're very easy to encapsulate and it makes them quite useful for environments where you might have exposure to moisture, such as in medical device applications. Yes, well, there are really four advantages of Ilica's technology. Um, the first one is that the batteries have very low leakage currents. So typically they have a leakage current that's a tenth of a lithium-ion battery. Now that means that they're very useful for trickle charging. So you can combine them with an energy harvester, say a small photovoltaic panel that only produces uh, milliamps or even microamps of current and so you capture that current rather than it just being lost within the losses of the system. The second advantage is that um, they're quite close to the behavior of a capacitor in that actually you can draw current from them very rapidly. Um, and that's useful if you want to send a pulse of data across uh, a wireless network. You know, you may need a little burst of energy in order to send that data package through to your central control system. The third advantage is that they're about half the size of a normal lithium ion battery. So it means that designers can make very low profile, aesthetically pleasing designs um, that are you know, quite nice to put in the home or other environments where you may be worried about uh, the look and feel of these devices. And then finally, um, they actually last a very long time. So uh, we've tested some of our batteries for 5,000 cycles, which means that they would last over 10 years in um, a typical environment. Well, that, that's an interesting question, and uh, I think no two analysts agree on the exact numbers. Uh, but the bottom line is that it's a huge market. Uh, there are 15 billion sensors uh, deployed on the planet at the moment. Uh, most of them are either hardwired or powered by primary batteries. And so having a rechargeable, perpetual beacon yeah, yeah. concept means that uh, batteries can actually enable untethered designs that can be deployed around the world. Yeah, so we take the view that um, it's actually better for us to partner with large OEMs who can offer complete solutions to their customers. Um, so consumers like you and I, we want to buy complete systems, not just batteries. Um, so we're in discussions with some lead partners who've helped shape the products to the point uh, that's got us to this launch in Berlin earlier this week. Um, and they, of course, uh, are interested in firming up those commercial discussions. And then in addition, of course, the very fact that we've launched a product has attracted lots of other interest from organizations that we haven't been working with up to this point in time. And that's put us in a position where we expect to close some deals in this calendar year uh, and then start the ramp up of commercial progress. Yes, you can think of Ilica as having a horizontal technology platform that allows us to innovate materials across a series of different application areas, principally for electronics, energy storage and energy conversion. And we continue to carry out a, a portfolio of programs uh, on that platform. The, the program with Seagate is all about um, coming up with materials to enable their hammer uh, memory technology, which is a, a heat-assisted memory technology they use in hard drives that they install in PCs and, and laptops. Um, they are the market leader, 
Um, and in fact, hard drives continue to be uh, the biggest share of the market, even though solid state drives uh, have become more and more important in recent years. Um, and the concept here is that these materials that we're developing will enable a terabyte sized uh, memory on laptops.